بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين On the 15th day of the holy month of Ramadan we celebrate the birth of a shining star Al-Imam Al-Hasan peace be upon him the first grandson to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Al-Imam Al-Hasan was born into the purest household in history. Imagine, his grandfather is the best of God's creations, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. His father is the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib. His mother is the purest of all, Lady Fatima alayhi salam. Imam al Hassan represented the combination of prophethood and wilaya imama. His grandfather was the seal of prophets, and his father was the first imam of Ahlul Bayt. And therefore, we see the fruition of prophethood and imama culminating in Al-Imam Al-Hasan alayhi salam. When Imam Al-Hasan was born, Prophet Muhammad was ecstatic. He was overly joyed. The Holy Prophet loved Al-Imam Al-Hasan dearly. The Holy Prophet would find joy in looking at his grandson Al-Hasan. Many times the Prophet would be seen playing with Al-Imam Al-Hasan. Sometimes the Prophet would prolong his sujood while prostrating in prayer because Al-Hasan along with his brother al Hussein, they would be climbing on the Prophet's back playing with the Messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Prophet would constantly state, O oh Allah, you know how much I love Al-Hasan. Whoever loves Hassan loves me, and whoever loves me is loved by Allah. And whoever hates Al Hassan hates me, and the one who hates me is hated by Allah. Abu Huraira narrates that whenever I would see Al Hassan, I would cry. That's because I would vividly remember how the Prophet would carry him, embrace him, and he would say, Oh Allah, bear witness that I love Al Hassan. Al-Imam Al-Hasan was the symbol of generosity. Financial generosity and also symbolic generosity. As for the financial generosity, Al-Imam Al-Hasan donated all of his wealth, all of his money three times in his life. Have you ever heard of someone giving away all of his possessions, belongings, property, money to those in need, to the poor. He did that three times. And twice in his life, he split his wealth in half. He took one half and he gave away the other half. That's generosity. But even more than that, Al-Imam Al-Hasan alayhi salam even sacrificed his face and reputation for the well-being of the Muslim Ummah. When he signed a peace treaty with Muawiyah, the evil dictator, in order to protect the lives of innocent people, Muawiyah was determined to chase the believers and kill them one by one and to eradicate the religion of Islam. The only way to expose Muawiyah and his treachery and to save the religion of Islam was to sign that peace treaty. However, that cost Imam al Hassan a lot. Many ignorant people could not understand why Imam al Hassan signed that peace treaty. They attacked him, they accused him. But Imam al Hassan sacrificed his reputation for the sake of Allah. Even if people would attack him and rebuke him, but as long as he knew that he was doing that which is right, the Imam alayhi salam continued to serve the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Al Imam Al Hassan Ali Salam was known for his immense worship and deep love for Allah. At the time of prayer, he would be seen standing, his face yellow, his limbs trembling. They would tell him, Oh Al Hassan, what happened? The Imam السلام, would say, I am standing before the King of the Universe. 25 times in his life, Al Imam Al Hassan went to the Hajj, to the holy pilgrimage, while walking on his feet. As for the akhlaq of Al Imam Al Hassan, he was known for his patience, perseverance. He was known to turn an enemy into an instantaneous friend. A man came from Sham, brainwashed by Muawiyah. He saw Al Imam Al Hassan. He started cursing and cussing at Al Imam Al Hassan and slandering his father Ali ibn Abi Talib. The Imam looked at him with compassion, with nobility. The Imam told him, I see that you are a stranger. If you are poor, we will enrich you. If you've lost your way, we will show you your way. If you're hungry, come to my house, we will feed you. If you need clothing, we will give that to you. That man was shocked. I am cursing Al Hassan and he's showing me this impeccable attitude and akhlaq. He said, I swear by God, you are the true Caliph and Khalifa and the representative of God. Allahu a'lamu haythu yaj'alu risalata. Allah knows whom to choose to be his representatives and the carriers of his message. Then he told Al Imam Al Hassan, I came from Sham, and you and your father were the most detested people in my eyes. But now you and your father Ali are the most beloved in my eyes. Salamullahi alayka, Ya Aba Muhammad Al Hassan ibn Ali, Ayyuhaz Zakiyu, Yabna Rasulullah.